was always a place to be at ease uh, with family. Uh, you didn't have to worry about what you looked like or uh, what you said or, or uh, anything else. It was always here and open and, and welcoming. This place has been a safe haven for me. It brought me closer to family, introduced me to family, taught me about hard work, about fun. People who visit it once, they sort of immediately get why this place is special. How we've sort of maintained a unique feel here, even though we're being surrounded by mansions. You know, what, what, what makes you somewhat sad, and maybe, and I'm sure this is true for Wibbs as well, because we both worked hard on the house, and that is, well, what's going to happen to this house, this old house? To use the nautical expression that it's uncharted waters would be trite but accurate. One night we, were, we went over to Edith Weir Wright's boathouse. It was a beautiful moonlight. Moon lit night. And we opened up the big doors of the uh, boathouse. There was a hammock in there, and so we were sitting there. There was a full moon out there. It was all very romantic. And I thought, why doesn't he propose to me? So I thought, I guess I'd better propose to him. So I did. I said, more or less, I don't know what I said, but I have the feeling very definitely that I asked him to marry me. <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> I think a house is just a house until it is loved by so many people and cared for and appreciated by generations. And then it does take on a personality. It, it begins to have a life of its own. When I heard that, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, Josh's uh, mother died and the um, and uh, the family had made the decision to sell the house, I realized that uh, it was very important for me to buy it. It's like home, so you can leave home, but the memories always, always will be in your mind, so. We'll miss it. We'll miss it a lot. Yeah.